I want to show how to install a Pico remote as a three-way light switch. You're going to need a wall plate bracket. That is this clear piece right here. You're going to pop out this top that's on, on the top of that. So you're going to pop it out, peel your sticker off. You're going to take your Pico remote, remove this bottom, uh, slide down, and then you're just going to slide that into place and then let's see if I can do this with one hand so that's going to be the three-way switch eventually right now it's this just a regular switch so I took it out I pulled the screws and so what you're going to do is all your wires all those are going to get bundled up together so let's pull the switch off So much easier to do with two hands than one. There's that. And you're going to want to straighten everything out. Oh, by the way, before you do this, of course, you're going to pull power. You're going to turn off your power, and then you're going to use um, your voltage sniffer. You're going to test, make sure that everything's off. Breakers aren't always accurately labeled. So, there's no power here. I'm going to get some this chain with the kit for the Pico remote. I'm not really working in the best spot. Just excited to get it done and finding daylight. So, over here, and all my wires, <laughs> I have two assistants with me. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Shh. Why are we being quiet? Why are we being so quiet? Are we sneaking? All right. And then these are going to be a little long to work with. So let's just trim them. So there's those. We'll take our wire nets and keys. And then we're going to join these all together. And we can all the powers off and still feel like a little stir. Tripod would be great, huh? So wire nut all of those together. Hold on just a second. Hey, Dad, you want this? Uh, yeah? Yeah, you want this. You want this. Oh yeah, thank you. Hold on a second. I got my hands full. Okay, there we go. Wire net together. Put a wire net on the. Oh, thank you for the washer. And then. God, this is going to be the longest video ever for this subject. Okay. Pull that out. That's every wire. Need the wire nut, and you could take it off there, right there at the wow. at the pigtail if you wanted, or you could take off the pigtail, but just leave it in there because it's not hurt anything. Cap it off so it doesn't look scary, and we have now joined all of our three way wiring together. So I'm gonna push that in. 
nice and tidy, right? And this is one of the boxes I didn't replace, so that's why the shoe's going to be in washers. Now, let's take our Pico remote, we'll take that off. We'll put that up. And, um... Makes me want to do that. But, let's see what we got here. It only fits one way um, because they're keyed on the back. So your remote is only going to go in one way. You can see it snaps down to that spot. Then I'm going to spare you. I'm going to mount it right there. And then we're going to put our plate cover back on. So stick with me if you want. Or you can sign off now. It's not going to get much more exciting. We're just going to screw it into place. See what you have. Where did you find that dress? Huh? Where did you find that Barbie dress? Oh, I know. Well, of course you know. You were the one that found it. Right? If you're still watching this video, oh my word, if you are patient or sad or fall asleep, thanks. You might notice I had a power screwdriver in there. I know that is so lazy. Um, but it was a present and I wanted to use it so I could say, hey, thanks for my power screwdriver. I used it. So here we go. Here it is mounted. So just a screw here, a screw there. Again, this remote, you could just put it on afterwards if you wanted. It just slides on and off. So you pull out a little bit and it would slide up. It's keyed on. So you just put that in there. Oh goodness. Jumps into place. I think that's pretty vertical. And then I'm going to take my switch plate and here we go. most important part of this whole installation, I think some guys will tell you, will be where you leave your screws at the end. And um, here's why it's important. Everyone's got an OCD friend and they'll notice it. Here's what also is driving me crazy. That is so exciting. So, um, when we replace switch plates, we'll go through and, and get these a little tighter, but um, I like them horizontal. Most guys like them vertical. They don't touch that. Yeah. See how there's that huge gap? That's awful, it drives me crazy. But what we'll do is we'll get spacing in there. I need to get this done before it gets totally dark. So, anyways, there it is. That is a Pico remote installed in place of a three-way switch. Gosh, the color match is so bad. Well, I'll get Lutron's switch covers on there soon. Thanks for hanging in. Next, we're going to replace the switch.